welcome back to the show the senior member in the House Weaponization Subcommittee, Congressman Darrell Issa, former chief speechwriter for President George W. Bush. He's Bill McGurn. Congressman, from where you sit, how badly did this White House mislead America? We're seeing the judge calling them out for misleading on things like even gas prices and voter fraud and vote integrity. Well, this, this amounts to a preliminary injunction. The judge found a pattern of behavior going back years, but he also found that it was ongoing. And I think that's the important reason for the injunction <clears throat> is that there is a pattern of behavior which he believes will, will cross the line, not even close, cross the line. And by the way, you know, when, uh, when Cutlow uh, saw a woman with uh, Ben Franklin, he just thought it was you. <laughs> right. Okay, it's, just so you know, he, he did know Ben Franklin personally, you know. No, is Larry Cudlow misleading America? No, I'm just kidding. I feel like Ben Franklin. <laughs> That's how old I feel. Thank you for that nice shout out, Daryl Issa. Okay, you know, getting back to this, Bill McGurn, watchdogs and the Twitter files journalists, you know, they're saying the last three years this nation has suffered from a Biden White House that routinely lied and distorted even on gas prices, you know, Afghanistan was a success. Bill, you've talked right. about it. So is Daryl Issa. Inflation is transitory. COVID vaccines are safe. Lockdowns are successful. You know, so what do you make of all this? Well, first of all, um, the intelligence community has a lot to answer for. Remember, the big story of 2020 was um, 51 former intelligence officers uh, gave the implication that the laptop was Russian information. He did that to help Biden win the election. Uh, that was mostly former CIA, but you see the FBI here involved in social media. It's outrageous. You know, they can go to social media if they say, this guy is a Russian agent, we know it, here's the proof. But it looks like they were routinely flagging things. Just the FBI has no business doing that. You know, if Twitter wants to do it on self or Facebook, they're free to do it. But I think uh, for the FBI to have so many um, agents dedicated to this, and of course, they're wrong in so many things they try to censor, notably the laptop. Yeah, you know, what Bill is saying, Congressman Issa, IRS whistleblowers say the FBI authenticated and found that the Hunter Biden laptop was real back in December 2019. And the Twitter files journalists say they uncovered a censorship industrial complex with blacklists of disfavored people, pressuring social media to censor. The U.S. government funds organizations that pressure advertisers to boycott news media and social media that refuse to censor. So from where you sit, Congressman, how deep and how bad is it? Well, it's extremely bad, and it's bad because the reason that our First Amendment has has been so important to so many is it's the very reason that we have lasted 247 years as a republic is that, in fact, we're able to switch parties back and forth. We're able to switch ideas back and forth because the ideas of the opposition are not stifled. Uh, and in this case, misinformation, disinformation, and wrong information from the administration was allowed to go out, well, dissenting views, often correct dissenting views, were stifled. And that is dangerous to a lot of things, including people who are trying to make health decisions that, quite frankly, only got one side of the story during this pandemic. Yeah, so final word, Bill McGurn, what Congressman Issa just said. I mean, this federal judge also called out former White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki for threatening legal action against big tech if they didn't <laughs> censor. How bad is it that the media allows itself to be bullied and manipulated by this Biden White House? Well, again, you go back to the laptop. How many of the press sided with the people trying to censor the New York Post, which had the story in the laptop before anyone else did? Instead of siding with their fellow reporters, they moved to squelch it. So this is not a surprise. This is what people do in secret. And this is why we shouldn't have intelligence people looking at tweets and, and um, determining whether they're politically correct or not. Yeah. I don't know if the district judge will be upheld by higher courts, but uh, I think he should. Congressman Darrell Issa, Bill McGurn, thanks for joining us tonight. Look who's back with You're us. Welcome. Thanks. Welcome back, Lynn. It's good to see you. 